Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I will show you how we can make a firework effect using the Unity particle system. We will start by making a new particle system. Reset its position and rename it to fireworks. Now, go to renderer and change the max particle size to 3. Inside emission, change the emission rate to 1. We will set the start speed to be random between two constants and the value will be 80 to 100. Start rotation will be 90 degrees and start size will be 3. We will add a value of 2 to the gravity. Inside shape, the angle will be 15 degrees. We will set the start lifetime to be random between two constants. We will put the value 2 and 3. We will turn looping off at the end of the creation of this particle system. Now, go to sub emitters, check it and create a new sub emitter by clicking on this plus button. Now if you can see a sub emitter. You can rename it. I am not renaming it. Set its start size to 2. Set start rotation to be random between two constants and the value will be minus 360 to 360. Emission rate over time will be 50. Now check the noise component and leave the values as it is. Now set the start lifetime to be random between two constants and we will put the values 0 0.5 and 1. After that, go to fireworks and create a new sub emitter by clicking on this plus button. And we will choose death here and also click on inherit color on both of the sub emitters. Create a new sub emitter and rename this to burst. Set the start speed to be random between two constants and set the values to 15 and 17. After that, set the gravity to 0 0.2. Start lifetime will be random between two constants and the value will be 1 and 3. We will change the emission to burst and it's currently at burst. If it's not, then change it to burst and keep the count at 50. Now while selecting this sub emitter burst, we forgot to rename it. Click on sub emitter and create a new sub emitter by pressing this button and make it inherit the color and rename it to worst trails. start no no we don't have to rename it we have to rename the sub emitter
set the start size to 3 and start lifetime to be random between two constants. Put the value of 0 0.5 and 1. After that, check the rotation over lifetime and set random between two constants. The values will be minus 360 to 360. For this game, we are using the default particle system. If you want, you can use a particle of your choice. Now check size over lifetime and set a size like this. This will be the curve. Now click on the burst and select color over lifetime. And Turn the opacity down to zero. Our submitter is inheriting the color, that's good. Now go back to the fireworks and in the start color and select random between two gradients. Now we will select two gradients for our particle system I have a few already made I can select any of these or I can make a new one let's make a new one turn the opacity up the second one will be So this is how our fireworks particle effect look. Let's have a closer look. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. We will see you in a new video. Goodbye.